In this video, you're going to understand that an instruction consists of an opcode and one or more operands. OK, so here we have the fetch part of the fetch decode execute cycle. Now, if this is looking a bit alien to you, go back and watch some of the previous videos first. So here we have our program counter, which holds the address the next instruction. It gets copied into the memory address register, and the address gets sent down the address bus. The control unit sends a memory read signal down the con uh, control bus, and then memory takes the contents of that address which was sent and sends it down the data bus and places it into the memory buffer register. All throughout this fetch cycle, as shown on the left, this instruction is nothing more than a string of ones and zeros. It's not until the instruction is copied into the current instruction register and the decode phase gets underway that we can break the instruction apart into its separate sections. The instruction is made up of two main bits, the opcode and the operand, and that's the focus for the rest of this video. So we've zoomed in here on part of the processor and we're looking at the instruction which has arrived from the memory buffer register and is now being decoded prior to being executed. Now we've used a nice simple 8-bit instruction. In reality, obviously, your computers will be using much longer instructions, typically 64 bits. And we can see the opcode is the first four bits and the opcode tells the CPU what to do. OP standing for operation. So this is the operation code, what we need to do. The rest of the instruction is the operand. That's what do we need to do it to. So we have what do I need to do and what do I need to do that action to. The operand could contain actual data, so perform this action on this data, or it could contain an address where that data is found. Now, in your exam, they're going to use a simple model to describe this structure of an instruction. You are not going to be expected to define how an opcode is made up, simply to interpret opcodes in the given context of an exam question. In your exam as well, the addressing mode is going to be incorporated into the bits that have been allocated for the opcode. So using our example here, we have four bits for the opcode, of which the first three are the basic machine operation, and the next one is the addressing mode, and the final four bits are the operand. So when this instruction is decoded, we look up this sequence here, up in this decode unit, and we discover that this operation is add. Oh, sorry, load. By using this structure and assigning four bits for the opcode, we can see that with this small instruction set of eight bits, we have a total of 16 available opcodes or operation codes, because obviously we have a two to the power of four, which is 16.